Hey guys and girls, it's me again. I shot a couple videos today. <sighs> Sorry. I have become reacquainted with how good it is for us to drink water and drink water all the time. You guys know I've always been an advocate of that and I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I would, if I could, let me be real with you people. This is smart water, right? If I could just drink nothing but Diet Mountain Dew all day, that's my fantasy, okay? I don't drink, I mean, yeah, water will refresh me, especially after clearly I've just kicked butt with a sweaty workout and I need to go shower and have an amazing huge salad um, with chicken on it, full disclosure. Um, this crow's around my bird's nest again, or my bird feeder. Bastards, I hate crows. That's not very nice. I should have respect for all creatures. Anyway, I'm just not one of those people that, I drink water because it's good for me. I drink water because of how it makes me feel. When I'm drinking it for the, like, the taste alone, it doesn't make me go, I mean, when you're dehydrated, it's refreshing. All that said, I'm just being completely honest with you. I don't want to be one of those people that's like women that have babies and go, oh my God, it's a beautiful experience. Come on. Really? Being bloated? Feeling like you have like a bowling ball in your belly every single day? How is that beautiful? I don't know. But if that's what you feel, I trust you. So I'm not going to say, oh my God, I love drinking water. I'd rather drink Diet Mountain Dew all day, any day, and I'm just going to put that out there. Don't hate on me. Get over it. I'm making a quick point today, and wow, every single second that I have my arms up here, I just did chest and triceps, and I can... I can, I can feel it here, and to me, I love that. I love it when you know you worked your muscles so hard and you worked to failure. Um, just holding my arms up like this, I can feel my triceps. Um, and again, Mr. Flow, that's for you, Mr. Flow, there you go. Um, wanted to bring this back. I really don't know because my, as I referenced in my last video, my shooting videos here on YouTube has been very erratic the past uh, year. I've started to branch out into different social media platforms, um, doing a lot on Snapchat. I certainly hope you guys will follow me over there and I hope you get on Snapchat. I was so skeptical of it in the beginning and my friend Juliana, who is on that show, um, I almost said house. Why do I always say house instead of castle? Because same thing, she's on castle. She was the one that convinced me to get on it and then when I tried it, it's such a, a better method for communicating live communicating lots of stuff and it just all the other platforms they just don't make sense like when I come shoot a video I can't shoot a video here and then I mean I could but it'd be a hell of a lot of work in uploading to YouTube on, on Snapchat it's just easier to be like you know very quickly communicate live in short video clips um, or or photo clips and it's just I, I just test it out get on over there make sure you follow me over there but anyway um, I don't even know if I should share this with you. Clearly, I still have a lot of sweat on my body. I just clapped and I felt like sweat a lot. <laughs> should I just gross you out? Anyway, this is a quickie, quickie video. You guys are gonna be surprised. I'm gonna make my videos shorter and sweeter because I've got them all mapped out on Trello with my assistant who just got back from vacation. Thank you, Jesus. I was so lost without her. Anyway, um, I do not know if I shot a video on this before, but the thing that I started, I believe it was last August, was my, it was just for myself. Um, and I've always been someone that was skeptical of challenges in the past, but um, you know, when people go, join my beach body challenge. Full disclosure, I'm a beach body coach. Okay, so um, I, you can order beach body programs and Shakeology for me, blah, blah, blah. But um, I'm not one of those people that has ever, before I became a beach body coach or now, I'm just not that person that buys a workout program whether it's Beachbody or something else, and does their program the way they do it. I've just, I've never done that. I've never gotten something and said, okay, I'm gonna do like Insanity Max. I'm gonna do this workout and nothing but this workout for 30 days. I'm not saying other people, you might not like it. It's just not my thing. I need diversity and I also need to just randomly pick my stuff. And I like to mix and match. I've always liked to do that. But I found myself responding very favorably to challenges. And I started this do what you hate challenge because I realized, as I mentioned in my last video, I had a tendency every week to do the same DVDs over and over if I'm working out from home, if I work out at the gym and I'm like, hmm, what am I gonna do today? If I didn't schedule it, I would do back or legs or, um, let's see, what would be my favorite? Uh, back, legs, um, and then shoulders. 
and it would be like those three things i would do the same cardio machines would do the same thing over and over and over what happens when you do that is it's it's not only you get stuck in a rut because you're doing the same movements your body to some degree i believe is going to get used to it and you, you have an unbalanced routine so you're going to have ultimately an unbalanced body when I started realizing how little or how often I would avoid doing chest and triceps because I hate it, doing hamstrings, and yet I wanted to really develop my hamstrings, but I would never work out my hamstrings. Didn't do calves, didn't do core because I didn't like that I'd had belly fat for the first time in my whole life. And I said, I've got to make sure I do this. And how do I do this? I used to start my weeks out doing the training I love to do the most. So I said, you know what? I'm going to start every week. And I'm going to make sure that before I do shoulders, before I do legs, before I do the things that I love, I'm going to schedule what I hate because that way at least I know I've done it. And then I use the workouts that I love to do or the training that I love to do as my reward. I'm telling you people, the do what you hate challenge for me changed me in so many ways because A, as I started doing the training, as I started doing chest and triceps, I realized that I didn't hate it as much as I thought. Um, I liked feeling different areas of my body develop and as the fat started coming off um, last year, um, as I continued to make lifestyle changes, as I continued with the bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, such a long word, as the fat came off, I started to notice like, wow, you know, like I liked how my triceps looked. I liked how the whole arm looked with the balance of the delt and the biceps and the triceps. I had nice arms, not just a nice delt here or you know whatever. I liked the fact that I could by doing triceps and chest, I could do things like push-ups more. I was I was I was more balanced. I felt more strong everywhere. You guys, I challenge you. If you have this habit like I have, challenge yourself to do what you hate first. Get it out of the way. It translates to life and business too. Do what you hate first. Save what you love for last as your reward for doing what you hate first. Bam.